another one. Well, looks like we have another one. Uh, CBS News. This report is coming from U.S. shoots down high altitude object over Alaska at the direction of President Biden. White House says, well, let's see what we're talking. Let's see what they're talking about now. And let's see what we can get out of this story. The Pentagon at the direction of President Biden shot down a high altitude object over Alaska airspace on Friday. National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby confirmed during Friday's White House briefing. The incident comes several days after the Pentagon took down a Chinese spy balloon that crossed much of the continental United States. You think? Yeah, pretty much crossed over our entire nation. But I digress. Kirby asked about the possibility of another object floating over U.S. airspace, said he can confirm that the Department of Defense was tracking a high altitude object over Alaska in the last 24 hours. The Pentagon is still accessing this latest pro- uh, this latest object and it's not clear who owns it or what its purpose was. Really? All this intelligence? You don't know who owns this? You don't know where it came from? The presence of surveillance co- equipment could not be confirmed, U.S. officials said. Kirby said this latest object was the size of a small car. And over a very sparse, sparsely populated area, allowing it to be taken down more easily than the Chinese spy balloon that was larger than the Statue of Liberty. Kirby said the president's main concern was the threat this latest object posed to civilian flights. This latest object was taken down off the coast of the Alaskan coast. The object was flying at an altitude of 40,000 feet and posed a reasonable threat to the safety of civilian flight, Kirby said. Out of an abundance of caution and the recommendation of the Pentagon, President Biden ordered the military to down the object, and they did. And it came inside of our territorial waters. Those waters now are frozen, but inside territorial airspace and over territorial waters. Fighter aircraft assigned to U.S. Northern Command took down the object within the last hour. Asked about the operation, Mr. Biden told reporters Friday, quote, it was a success, end quote. The FAA closed some airspace in northern Alaska to support the Defense Department's operation. Kirby said the U.S. will attempt to recover the object, which did not appear to be manned or have maneuvering capabilities. At a Pentagon briefing, Department of Defense spokesperson General Patrick Ryder said the object was detected on radar Thursday, February the 9th, and was further investigated and identified by fighter aircraft. U.S. Northern Command is beginning recovery operations now, Ryder said. A U.S. official said Northern Command has assets heading to the area now to recover the debris, including HC-130, HH-60, and CH-47 aircraft. Senator Dan Sullivan of Alaska said he was briefed on the subject by the Pentagon Friday morning. Alaska is the front line of defense for our nation. The past few weeks have made this even more evident, he said in a series of tweets. The Chinese spy balloon that transited, transited across the U.S. before it was shot down off South Carolina on Saturday as part of a larger Chinese surveillance balloon program. <laughs> larger Chinese surveillance balloon program? Okay. That has operated for several years and over multiple continents, the Pentagon says. The Biden administration has faced intense criticism over the decision to allow the Chinese surveillance balloon to cross the U.S. for nearly a week before it was shot down over the Atlantic Ocean. Administration officials said the decision was made due to the risk of civilians on the ground. But some Republican lawmakers wanted it to be taken down when it was over water on Alaska's coast, like this similar object was. And that's what I think. It should have been taken down before it got into our mainland. But anyway. (sighs) Some Republican lawmakers wanted it to be taken down when it was over water on Alaska's coast, like the similar or like the excuse me, smaller object was. Lawmakers have been de- have been briefed on the large surveillance balloon that was shot down. Previous balloons known to the U.S. have flown over parts of Hawaii, Texas, and Florida. Three during the Trump administration and one at the beginning of the Biden administration. So, of course, you know. This is CBS News. And of course, you know, they got to make sure that they add Trump in it because it's always Trump's fault when things like this happen. I don't care whose balloon it was. It could be your kid's balloon. If it's if it doesn't belong 
in our airspace. It should have been shut down before it came uh, into our nation's mainland. But this is uh, this is the report, ladies and gentlemen. This is the report. I mean, what do you think about this? What do you think about this administration? Do you, do you think this administration is doing a good job in protecting our country? Do you think this administration is um, making sure that China knows that they can't just do whatever they want? I mean, already technologically, they're pretty much punking us. But it also in the terms of surveillance. It's also in the term of military strength and might. We don't know what this thing may lead to. But nonetheless, as Christians, I hope and pray that we are seeking God and making sure that we, even in this administration, we pray for our leaders, including Joe Biden. Yep. Including Joe Biden. But let me know what you think in the comments below. What do you think about this story? Do you think that the president should have shot down the previous quote unquote object before it came all the way from the West Coast over into the East Coast? Or do you think, eh, you know, it's just a balloon? No big deal. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm trying to see something.